Hi there, my name is Chris. I'm a solution engineer with iBailey focused on NetSuite ERP. And today we're going to talk about how to install and configure both file, drag and drop and sticky note bundles into your NetSuite instance. So these are really for, uh, for two separate things. So to start, I wanna actually show you what the functionality is that you would get with installing both of these bundles. So to do that, I'll go ahead and pull up an invoice here. Now, when we pull up our invoice, what we're going to notice here immediately is up here at the top, we have two different things that have been added. We have an area to drop files, and we also can see our sticky notes available to be added to the record here. So for sticky notes, this bundle is really beneficial if you are a NetSuite user that needs to add notes to transactions or to other entity records that really catch your eye for follow-ups, further discussion, things along those lines. Drag and drop, this is a really useful tool if you need to attach different files, whether they're PDFs, Excel docs, Word docs, uh, anything along those lines, and really just need a way to bring those into NetSuite in a quicker, more efficient fashion. So to show you how this works, what I'm going to do is just show you how uh, we add sticky notes to this record here. So we can see that this invoice is open. So maybe we want to actually draw uh, the attention to someone in the organization that is responsible for Smith Supplies. We can see the due date here was August 2018. So they're a little bit behind here. So let's go ahead and add a high priority note here. These colors denote the priority status to which these notes are given. So if we open this up, what we can actually do is then now tag different employees in the organization. So let's say we want to tag Catherine Glass. Okay, we can tag Catherine and let's go ahead and add a few more people like John here to say, John, can you follow up on this invoice? Okay, and as soon as what we'll be able to do now is see that this sticky note is right here as soon as we look and view this record. So now we can uh, then take some action as it relates to that specific note. So John will get an email telling him that he needs to follow up on this invoice. He needs to give our customer Smith Supplies a call to see where they're at in regards to paying off this invoice. That is significantly late here. So we have a couple actions that we have here to mark it as done, reply, delete the note, or archive it. So what we can do here is actually reply. So let's say John came in and says, taken care of. Payment should be in by end of day. Okay, and now we can save that. And then what you'll see is that we have both notes now. So we can trace these notes back and understand, you know, exactly the flow of everything and how all these different transactions are being handled just by using these sticky notes. So it's a really nice and easy to use collaboration tool. And again, all of these users are going to be getting emails in uh, addition to being actually able to see the sticky notes on the records themselves. Now, if we wanna go ahead and say mark is done, simply just mark that as done, hit yes, and you can see now that's been crossed out. So now we can actually, uh, from here, show you how drag and drop works. So I'm gonna go ahead and just delete these notes we just created here. And now we're going to go ahead and drag and drop a couple files into our uh, our account here. So I've, I'll come over here. I'll pull my local hard drive over. And let's just say we want to bring in the new invoice record and drag that right onto the record itself. And then NetSuite's going to take that and upload this file into the file cabinet and onto the record itself. So once it does load, you'll be able to see that here under the files sub tab once it's ultimately completed. Now, because I'm using a demonstration account, it takes a little bit longer than it normally would in an actual live production customer account. So now we're coming down to the last couple seconds here and we should be able to see that we've got our file uploaded and now it's been completed. And now if we simply just refresh our page, 
we should now be able to come down to our communication, to our files, and see that that new invoice is created or attached to the record here. And you can attach more than one file. You can actually attach up to five files at one time to any given record within the system, uh, depending on what you need to be uh, attaching as far as backup documentation. So that's what you get with both of these bundles once they've been installed and configured. Now, the next thing you want to move into is how to actually install the bundle. So to either, to either uh, configure these, we need to actually get them installed in the system first. And to do that, what we're gonna do is go to customization, sweep bundler, search and install bundles. Now from here, we'll just type in some keywords. We'll just say drag. And that's going to pull up our uh, list of bundles that match that specific keyword. Now we can see our file drag and drop right here. We can see it's a managed bundle, the company who produced this bundle, and the number of installs. So it's very important that you take a look and make sure that whatever you're installing is from a reliable source. It's been installed multiple times, not just once or twice. And you want to make sure it's managed so that all those upgrades or any performance enhancements that are made to that bundle are pushed into your account immediately. So once you identify the bundle you want to add, you simply go in and click. And then now we see we have the ability to install this bundle. Here you can also view the components and any other information related to this specific bundle. And now if we click install, this will give us a pop-up because it's a managed bundle. Remember that this means that you're giving the owner of that bundle the permission to be able to push their enhancements into your account via this bundle. We're gonna say that's okay. And now we'll move into the next screen where we would install this bundle. Now I've already gone ahead and installed this and we have an option to update this bundle, but remember it's managed. So if we hit update, it says you can't do that because the provider will manage those updates for you. And again, here, this is where you can see all the components of the bundle of what it will actually install into your NetSuite account. And the same thing goes for sticky notes. If you're looking to uh, install sticky notes, you would follow that same click through path that we just saw there, going from customization to sweet bundler and search and install bundles. Okay, and so once you've in successfully installed them and you can check the status of your bundle installation here in the install bundles area, to see how far along they are. Now, oftentimes you might need to log out and log back in just to make sure they've been installed into the account. Now, let's talk about configuring both of these bundles. So to do that, we're gonna to go to setup, customization, and here's where we're gonna have both areas to identify file drag and drop and sticky notes. Let's start with file drag and drop. Okay, and so this is going to take us to almost an assistant that will help walk us through the setup and configuration of this bundle. So what we'll see here is we need to assign a global destination folder for the attachments we're gonna be dropping into our NetSuite transactions and record types, and then uh, making sure we enable file drag and drop, very important here, and then identify an error message recipient. So whoever in your organization is really responsible for the maintenance of your NetSuite account, that's likely who you would want as the error message recipient. Once we've identified all of those areas, we'll hit save and next. And now we're gonna identify the record types to which to expose our drag and drop bundles. So now we'll click new record type and you can see the invoice record type that we walked through earlier is already there. Let's go ahead and add another one. Let's add something along the lines of a vendor bill. And again, you're gonna to wanna to assign a folder for all of these to come into. We'll choose that folder and you can also use a folder pattern that will help guide these uh, attachments throughout the system into specific folders based on the pattern that you designate here. And so now from here what we'll do is save this and if you're doing multiple record types it's very useful to save and copy if you're going to be using the same folder name or same folder pattern. So that way you're not having to go through and click through everything again. So if we hit save and copy, 
We'll see that now we can choose another record type to do this to. And let's take uh, something like purchase orders. And we'll scroll down here to find our purchase orders. Here we go. And we see we have that same folder there. So less clicking that we have to do here and everything should look good. And now we will simply save this. So now we've got all of that kind of set up. We'll hit save and next. Now we can see all the record types we're looking to expose our drag and drop functionality into. The last thing we need to do is finish. And that's how you set up and configure drag and drop. Now to go ahead and set up our sticky notes, what we'll do, again, go to setup, customization, sticky note setup. Sticky note setup, this is where you're going to define a lot of the user and admin level preferences as far as uh, suppressing tutorials or uh, how many records you want to apply this sticky note uh, functionality to. You can create short key for posting notes. So if you want to just hit control enter to post a note, you can designate that here. Uh, you can also attach images on these uh, record notes. You can see that right here that we can preview these images, send those email notifications, allow even file attachments. So there's a lot of functionality that you get with these free bundles. Now, if we come down here, we have the ability to actually push this out to all record types within the system. Now, in our case, we just want to do a couple of sticky note, uh, a couple of records to add sticky notes to. So let's say we want to add a journal entry. Say we want to add a vendor. And last but not least, let's have a customer. Okay, once everything looks good here, we also might want to establish an email capture address. So if there's a shared email that you would like all of uh, some of these emails to go to, you can designate that here on the capture address. We're going to go ahead and leave that blank for this demonstration and simply click save. Okay, and that is how you set up and configure the sticky note setup. So now let's go ahead and pull up a journal entry. Take a look at our list here. We'll click view. Now what we should see when this record loads is the sticky note functionality here. Now, if it's not there, likely that means you're going to need to log in, log out, make sure everything's going to uh, come into this specific record. Oh, but looky here, everything worked out well. So again, you have all of these options as far as uh, help, preferences, a sticky notes board, and then all of the designations for the priorities for the sticky notes. And then again, you're going to see that drag and drop box right over there to the right. And so that is how uh, you set up and configure drag and drop and sticky note bundles into your NetSuite instance and you can begin utilizing its functionality. So if you have any other questions around how to set these things up or any questions around bundles themselves, feel free to reach out to us here at I'd Bailey. We'd be happy to help. There's also a lot of free resources out there such as the Help Center and Sweet Answers that can give you some really good information on how to set those up and configure them appropriately. Thank you. 